everyone, how are you all doing today? I hope you're doing really good. In today's video, I'll address a topic that's really interesting, in my opinion, and it's known as the Big Bang Theory. So, the Big Bang Theory is one of many creation theories that suggest how the universe was created. In this specific theory, it suggests that the universe was created by a tiny particle known as the Higgs boson particle that all of a sudden had the entire universe inside of it and it expanded into itself. Think about it like this. You have the entire universe and you squeeze it down to a nanoscale thing that's too small to be measured or seen. This all of a sudden expands in size, but it's, how it's expanding into itself. And this expands drastically. Like think about it like this. You have something the size of a baseball and if you scale it down to how the Higgs boson particle expanded, you have something the size of a baseball that within one nanosecond of time, it expands into something 20 billion light years in length. And so that's how big the universe got in its early stages. So the history of the universe. Within the first few nanoseconds of its birth, the universe went to a, something known as nucleosynthesis, which basically suggested that all the quarks that were made during the Big Bang expansion all merged together to create electrons, protons, and neutrons. This happened in a very tiny amount of time, approximately 10 to the negative 39th power seconds. So this period was known as nucleosynthesis. In approximately the next 200 seconds, all the quarks and the electrons, protons, and neutrons merged together and created the first stable atoms. This was known as the opaque period or the dark times because light, visible light could not move around. The entire universe was just one solid block of atoms. Also during this time, matter and antimatter had their collisions and they each annihilated each other completely. That if two particles of, of matter and antimatter met, all of them would be destroyed. However, just by chance, there happened to be a million and one particles of matter to a million particles of antimatter. Right now, basically, basically what that means is, right now we have one out of every billion particles that were created in the Big Bang, one out of every billion of them are used in today's universe. And that makes up literally the entire universe. So after that, in the space of the next 100 million to the next 400 million years, atoms combined to make molecules, molecules made stars. Stars are made of the two basic and first atoms, hydrogen and helium. So stars were made, stars in turn grouped together and made galaxies. This happened in the next approximately 3 billion years of time. You can see in the diagram, you have the galaxies starting to be made, the four main types. You have the irregular galaxies, the elliptical, the spiral, and the barred spiral. And from that time to the present, you have the entire universe making the planets and all known life as we know it, basically carbon life, which was made after the first stars were made. So this entire universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old. In comparison, the Earth is approximately 4.5 billion years old. So it takes approximately about a third of the complete lifespan. So it, was, it started in the start, you know, and came all the way to the present. In between all of this, you have the Higgs boson particle. And pretty much everything has its mass through the Higgs boson particle. This is because the Higgs boson particle generates something known as the boson field. And this basically suggests that all space-time is made up of little vibrating strings. You can see that in another one of my videos. All the vibrating strings give mass to the electrons and they don't give mass to the photons because photons don't have any mass. And the Higgs boson field basically is made because the Higgs boson particle is on the field of space-time and that basically dictates that yes, the strings are there. And because the strings are there, the electrons and everything else also get their mass. And basically, yeah, that explains how the universe was created in the, in the Big Bang Theory. So if you have any questions, feel free to place them in the comments below, and I'll make sure to address them in a future video. Thanks, and bye!